Um, I certainly think that it is not in the interest of either the United Kingdom, the European Union, Madrid or Gibraltar, that there should not be an agreement between us. I think, therefore, we are all working extraordinarily hard to secure an agreement. That doesn't mean an agreement is easy, but it still remains possible and it remains that which we wish to see happen. And we are as ready as we can be. But the important thing to understand is that when you're putting in place contingencies, you cannot put in place a plan that means that everything stays the same the day after you've left the European Union. The contingency planning is for the essentials, but life will change radically for the worse if there is no deal, and not just for the people of Gibraltar. Look, I I'm very clear, it's in the interest of the people of the whole of the European Union, the United Kingdom, Spain and Gibraltar in particular, that there should be an agreement. My role as the elected senior representative of the people of Gibraltar is to work as hard as I can, every minute I can, to ensure that there is a deal, and a deal that is compatible with the fundamentals that we defend so dearly.